Did you know that asteroids were once considered planets? And not all asteroids create extinction? Well, these are just two of the long lists of facts about asteroids. So in today's video, we reveal all of the interesting facts you might want to know about these small rocky objects called asteroids. Asteroids are leftovers from the time our solar system was born. Some 4.6 billion years ago, during the formation of the solar system, the birth of Jupiter meant new planetary bodies couldn't form between Mars and Jupiter. This made small objects around the region to collide with each other and form the rocky celestial elements that we know as asteroids today. And that's why they're sometimes referred to as the hangover of the early formation system of the solar system. They are concentrated in the asteroid belt. Asteroids live primarily within the asteroid belt. According to NASA, the largest colony of asteroids exists between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. It is referred to as the main asteroid belt and serves as home to around one million asteroids. Occasionally, some asteroids stay outside the main asteroid belt to travel in front of and behind Jupiter. Some of them stay 60 degrees in front of Jupiter, while the rest cluster 60 degrees behind the planet. But in any case, both sets of asteroids are called Trojan asteroids. Furthermore, some other asteroids travel mischievously close to Earth. Those are called near-Earth objects, or NEOs. These lots pose a great risk to our planet. Hence, NASA and other prominent space agencies around the world look out for them. The first asteroid was discovered on the first night of the 19th century. How ironic. On the evening of January 1st in the year 1801, Italian mathematician Giuseppe Piazzi was plotting a star map when he stumbled on a small object measuring 1,000 kilometres, 600 miles, in between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. And that turned out to be the first asteroid discovered. Piazzi decided to name it Ceres in honour of the Roman goddess of corn and harvest. One year later, Piazzi found two more asteroids, and since then, many more of these small rocky objects have been discovered. Asteroids were considered planets until mid-19th century. Following the discovery of asteroids in the early 19th century, scientists couldn't agree on how to classify them. But because they appeared more like stars when viewed with large telescopes, British-German astronomer William Herschel proposed the term asteroids, meaning star-like or star-shaped. However, most of the other astronomers of that era still continued to classify them as planets. But their stance changed in the middle of the 19th century, when more asteroids were discovered, and it became obvious they were all located within the region. It was only then that a consensus was reached to call them asteroids. The first human probe to the asteroid belt was in 1972. More than 100 years after the region was discovered, NASA sent the Pioneer 10 spacecraft to survey the asteroid belt on the 15th of July, 1972. That mission helped to debunk rumours that the belt was filled with dust that could damage the fragile components of a spacecraft, and that ultimately paved the way for more than 10 spacecraft to visit the site. Just to name a few, the Near Shoemaker landed on the 433 Eros asteroid on the 12th of February 2001, representing humanity's first landing on an asteroid. In 2010, Japan's Hayabusa space probe returned to Earth with samples after a trip to the Itokawa asteroid. And between 2011 and 2012, NASA's Dawn spacecraft explored the Vesta asteroid from its orbit. Asteroids can become planets. Normally, asteroids are considered too small to hold onto atmospheres. Also, their gravitational force is said to be too weak to pull their shape into a circle. Hence, they're irregular shaped and cannot be classified as a planet. Ceres was not any different because it shares these features. However, in 2006, scientists adjusted the classification criteria. Hence, Ceres was upgraded to a dwarf planet because it was bigger and different from its peers. However, its atmosphere isn't any different from that of a regular asteroid. That suggests that the chances of finding life on the planet are minimal. However, scientists are not deterred. They continue to nurture hopes of finding evidence of life on the dwarf planet someday. 
Having spent time exploring Vesta, NASA's Dawn spacecraft visits Ceres in 2015 to study its surface, history and composition. And to date, it remains the only dwarf planet to have been visited by a spacecraft. Asteroids can have moons. Apparently, some asteroids are large enough to have moons and satellites of their own. Back in 1993, the Galileo spacecraft discovered the first asteroid moon. The moon, named Dactyl, was found around an A-type asteroid named Ida. Over time, more moon sightings have been made around asteroids. Eugenia and Pulkova are two other asteroids that have been found to have moons, but scientists believe there are well over 150 asteroids with moons in our universe today. Some are even said to have two. Studies have shown that these moons are created when two asteroids collide, and in 2013, scientists found that asteroids can have other celestial features too, like rings and tails. Ironically, asteroids can become moons themselves. But how come? As asteroids rotate round the Sun, they occasionally cross paths or collide with planets. And in this process, some of them are dragged into the planet's gravity and eventually become one of the planet's moons. Planets like Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune have gotten additional moons through this method. Some asteroids can behave like comets. Just like asteroids, comets are leftovers from the time that our solar system was formed and they orbit the Sun as well. But while asteroids are made entirely of rocks, comets are a mixture of ice rock. As the comet approaches the Sun, the heat sensation melts some parts of the icy core to form a sporadic tail-like structure. Some asteroids, like the P210A2, also have this feature. Asteroids are rich in minerals and water. Regardless of the fact that asteroids don't support life, they're believed to have huge deposits of carbon, silica and metals. Some are even said to harbour water ice in the rubble mass. According to theorists and scientists, asteroids sometimes give out these minerals to planets when they collide with them. And there are strong suggestions that a similar scenario triggered the process that began life here on Earth. Back in 2015, scientists discovered water trails called gullies in the second biggest asteroid, Vesta. They exist in different size. In case you don't know, asteroids range in size. You've got some that are as big as 1,000 kilometres and others that could be as small as 1 kilometre. Currently, Ceres, Pallas and Vesta are the three largest asteroids in the universe. But interestingly, the mass of our Moon is greater than the total collective mass of all the asteroids that exist. They can create a big impact. Asteroids are known to collide with planets from time to time. About once a year, an automobile-sized asteroid hits our Earth. But thankfully, not all asteroid collisions are extinction-level events. However, some 66 million years ago, our Earth got hit by a massive asteroid about the size of a mountain and hit the coast of Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula to create a 180 kilometer Chicxulub crater. The impact of the collision was so strong that it damaged and changed life on Earth, wiping out a significant part of Earth's history. According to reports, the Earth plunged into complete darkness for almost two years following the collision. The Earth also witnessed huge tsunamis, fires, alongside some huge chunks of dust and soot. Consequently, 75% of all the living things that existed were destroyed, including plants and dinosaurs.